Hi there, Capricorn. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys had a great December and a wonderful holiday. We're going to be doing the Celtic cross today. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> and we're ready to go, apparently. <laughs> I get the sense that you are very serious about something. There's something that you're quite focused on and very serious about. I'm getting I'm getting that feeling. in tone. Okay. I'm feeling like a flash of um, in just intense emotion and passion about something. in somewhat of a pointed way, okay? So the Father of Swords popped out and let us leave that for now um, and we'll get to the rest of the reading. And then we will address that card. So let me just make sure we are recording indeed. Okay, excellent. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna be doing the Celtic cross today. Um, the same as last month. We're gonna be having your distant past in this position here, your recent past in the next position, your current situation your help or hinder card. I like to look at that card as a sort of advice card um, of energies that you can utilize as you move forward. The card after that will be your near future. The card following your near future will be your hopes and or your fears. And the final card on this lower level will be your final outcome. We're going to be crowning the reading with three cards. The first being the energy that you really stepped into, that you harnessed, that helped lead you to the current state that you're in. The following card after that will be your environmental energies card as you move forward throughout this month. The card after that will be your most likely outcome. I like to look at this card as sort of the um, the energetic pathway that you're moving towards given these other energies at bay okay so let me just I sense a lot of thinking, a lot of thinking with something, uh, the busyness of the mind, that's, that's the feeling that I'm getting, the busyness of the mind. sort of a heavy mental energy. So let us um, begin. Distant past, recent past, current state. So 
sorry, current state. This is your advice card. In your future, hopes and or fears, final outcome. The energy that you stepped into that helped lead you to your current state. This is the environmental energies card. And this is the energetic pathway that you're moving towards. Okay, let's flip over the deck and you have, sure enough, a 10 of pentacles. So that is classic Capricorn <laughs> energy um, in addition to this seven of pentacles, um, the earth element. Okay. So let's first take a look at the elements um, at play here. Okay, you have two major arcana. This is the energy that you're coming from, your distant past and your recent past. A third major arcana, justice. Though note the prominence of the sword in this card. So I look at this card as um, really an air element, the intellectual mind, the analytical mind, thinking, right? Justice, it's very much, very much in line with judgment, okay? Judgment and justice, decision-making, right? This is, I'm seeing this as sort of the focus on a decision. The centrality of um, of thought and decision making. Okay. Moving into earth energy, strategic, almost monotonous steps forward, working towards something substantial and tangible. You then have another major arcana card here. And you have a swords card. Air, again, I'm seeing it relating to the sword and justice. You then have the Four of Cups, so water, emotion, energy here. Judgment up top, um, which is another major arcana, also relating to justice, especially because it's right above it, um, but again, having to do with judgment, logic, in a way also, um, and the analytical mind, air element. You then have one wands card, one single wands card in the center here. So that's fire energy. You have another major arcana death, lots of major arcana here. I'm seeing lots. This is something very transformational, very transformational that is trailing from your past. We'll get into that but seeing the progression of cards, you're coming from something transformative, still dealing with something transformative in a very macro sense of your daily life, moving into something transformative, right? And really, it seems that everything taking place is somewhat sandwiched, right? In between profound, and a profound energetic path forward, okay? You have two major arcana crowning the top here in the middle. Um, sorry, crowning up top, sandwiching this card in the middle. 
And then you have the Father of Swords that popped out. Again, Swords energy, air, mental. Um, I keep hearing mental anguish. I, I'm hearing mental chatter, banter, some something that's being heavily focused on. All right. And then you have this Ten of Pentacles. Again, Earth element. So, elementally, you have you have strong sword energy, mental energy, okay, with these four here, really. Um, the focus on thoughts and two pentacles cards here. So this is sort of the theme of the reading. Um, and let me just make sure that we can see, okay, great. This is the theme, let's say, of the reading. So it appears that whatever is taking place, whatever this decision is, right? Whatever this transformation is, whatever this progression, definitely transformation, you do have death here, right? And the Wheel of Fortune, okay? And you have the fool okay there's definitely definitely a sense of um a turning of the wheel a new chapter moving forward with something that has to do with your um with with the tangible world around you with your career with your finances all right And you're quite serious about it. You're taking a very serious approach with whatever, um, with whatever this change is. You're being very clear-headed. You're being very focused, almost brash. There is a certain intensity, right, with which you regard whatever situation this is, and. Let's just take note that this is a 10. A 10 of pentacles, it's culminating. It's a culminating number. 10 is the, the last number in the number suit of the elements. So together with death, there's very much a transformation taking place, especially when considering that the fool has also popped out. That is... That's the first major arcana card, signifying a new um, chapter and a new embarkment on a journey of some sort. So with this 10 here of pentacles, I'm, I'm feeling it is tied to your financial, um, material um, engagements and involvements, okay? So let's get right into it. Um, deep past is the sun here. Major Arcana. Um, and the wheel of fortune. So you have these two cards um, together, right? And what I'm seeing when I look at these two cards together is this, this focus on... Um, the circularity, right? Circle, circle. And again, circle here because of the sun. And circle here, right? Because of the pentacles. So there is this theme of I'm feeling bringing something together, bringing something to completion, and starting on a new path forward with the fool here. There is a sense of progressionally, right? There was sort of this aha moment, this awakening. Um, I'm seeing this as a sort of fresh start, a revival in something, right? And I am feeling it's tied to your finances, okay? This was in your, your distant past. Moving forward onto the Wheel of Fortune, right? I'm seeing this prog this, this, 
this this um, process taking form, turning. The wheel is turning now. This sun, right, is in the, is in the background, and the wheel is turning, and there's a lot more um, going on in the forefront, right? So I'm seeing a progression of something that you started in your distant past. Okay, and this is this is transformational. You have two major arcana leading to one another. So there is this there is this momentum. Momentum, momentum. That's definitely the feeling I'm getting. Momentum. And absolutely so, given that you almost in every position, right? In your current state, in your past, in your current state, your near future, um, the energy you've been harnessing and the energy you're moving into, you have prominent major arcana cards so there is definitely momentum with this transformation that's taking place absolutely and with this ten of pentacles the culminating um sort of finality okay of a of a process so moving forward into your current um position we go from this feeling of movement this feeling of um, progress, right? The turning of the wheel to almost like a stillness, a standstill. I'm seeing this as a standstill energy compared to these two cards here, right? Rather than having the wheel turning, it's now all eyes on a decision that is to be made. Okay. So, and I'm, f I'm assuming, right? I'm feeling energetically that it is this is the mental energy that that this father of swords is speaking to and this swords here is speaking to okay and perhaps related to where you're going next in terms of um perhaps the the death of this cycle of whatever you've been working on and working towards right um, that could be providing this sort of mental anguish. I'm seeing this as like staying up at night. Okay, I'm seeing this as like staying up at night and thinking about this decision and about where you're going to next. Almost like, um, in a way, feeling, knowing that this is coming, knowing that this that this turning of the wheel is inevitable and it needs to happen in a way and um right understanding that from a certain perspective but still staying up at night about it okay okay moving forward from this decision right the advice card, the energy that um, you can really use for your benefit as you move forward is the Seven of Pentacles, okay? These are not both sevens, but they look very similar, right? These two cards look very similar. The backgrounds, the, there are these very fine lines, it's black and white. There's not much color here. There is a sense of stillness, standstill, right? And when they are together, I'm sensing that this decision is, right? Related again to a tangible um, involvement. I'm seeing this as a sort of continuation of efforts, okay? Continuation of efforts that will inevitably lead to the finalization of something, of a cycle, okay? But the con nevertheless, the continuation, right, of what is being done the consistent work towards it, right? And we have this card sort of pointing diagonally into the direction of this death card, which is 
Right, it's kind of like the moving along of the process. Definitely momentum. Okay. And I do sense that you're aware of it. I sense an awareness. There is an awareness. Okay. Definitely an awareness. Your eyes are open about this. Okay. Moving into your near future, you have the Fool card. Okay, the Fool card. Um, and it did come upside down. It did come reverse. So what I'm feeling, what I'm feeling is perhaps, um, the, again, the inevitability of moving into this new cycle, this fresh start, right? But nevertheless, the... Um, almost the reluctance, right? You know that it's necessary, you know it's coming, right? You are making steps forward towards the closure of something and the entry of an, into a new stage in life. But there is this sort of reluctance, okay, to, you know, even if it's not an actual reluctance in your actions, right, you're still acting towards finishing something up. Still, I'm sensing this as more emotionally, emotional reluctance, okay? Especially when this card comes um, upside down, sort of right, above, right below this death card, it's almost as if this baby chick is hanging upside down almost kind of clinging on to this dead bird. Right? It's almost like it doesn't want to let go. It doesn't want to let go of this final stage. It doesn't doesn't want this to happen, but it's necessary for the rebirth to be reborn, to start on this new journey, okay? Okay. Hopes and fears, um, you have the Four of Swords. Okay. And look, we have two cards together that both depict a very youthful, juvenile, almost innocent, right? Young, pure um, animal. Okay, so there is this sort of sense of vulnerability to the new stage that you're moving into, it seems. Okay, and you might feel vulnerable. You might feel, right, like this new stage, this new start, you can see this sun beaming up on the forehead of this little lamb. It's radiating, right? There, it, there is this new start, however, there is sort of this fear of vulnerability, perhaps, of the logical mind, okay, that you, um, that is sort of consuming you. There is this dichotomy to this new beginning, right, that you're really sort of concerned about, perhaps, or thinking about heavily with the Father of Swords, heavily, and justice, okay? You need to make a new start in something. There needs to be a new beginning, right? A decision to be made, closure to be had, right? But there is sort of a reluctance, a feeling of reluctance with moving forward in this new stage. So moving on to the, the most likely final outcome, you have the Four of Cups. It's the only water card here that we have, okay? Water, speaking of emotions, um, speaking of even intuition, okay? Of sensitivity. But if you look at this Four of Cups card, right? It's almost like emotionally you don't want to let go of 
of this stage in your life. You, you almost don't want it to happen, right? You know it needs to happen, but you don't, you're not emotionally ready for it. Emotionally, you're still holding on. Sorry about that, guys. The uh, camera stopped recording, so, all right. We were on this card here, um, and right, there is a sort of clinging on emotionally to um, perhaps this situation, this old, um, not old right now, right, but um, to this to this past, to what will be after this transformation, the past. Okay, so sort of an emotional reluctance towards this change. Okay. Now, moving forward here um, into the crowning energy, you have judgment in reverse, right? And that's the energy that you stepped into, that you harnessed, that helped lead you to this current position of justice, okay? So now, and if you'll see here, judgment came in reverse. So it kind of looks as if this, this, uh, this bird, this eagle is flying directly down into this card, straight into the justice card and perfectly aligned, perfectly aligned head on with this sword, right? So again, this focus, this focus in decision making, right? So definitely this swift movement, right? This swift decision-making that is leading you chronologically through this path, right? So the decision, the judgment, diving right into with supreme focus on um, on the the um, on the decision to do what's right for the situation, what's fair, what's just, right? There is sort of this all eyes on um, you, the separation between black and white, right and wrong. Um, and there's just a, a very um, pointed focus, right? On whatever decision needs to be made on whatever this next step is. So there is movement, right? There is motion. Um, even if perhaps it is somewhat reluctant, right? Even if, even if it is somewhat reluctant, you are still moving with the natural progression and what needs to be. So when we come to the environmental energies card, right? We have the only wands card in the deck, right? And this is an eight of wands and it did come reversed. So when we look at these two cards together, it's interesting. It's quite interesting because although they're both reversed, right? When they're reversed together, they seem to be sort of polar opposites in terms of orientation, meaning that you have the white space, right? The opening, the aha moment, um, the flow, the movement forward at the bottom of the judgment card here with the darkness up at top. And here in this next card of the Eight of Wands, you have the brightness up at top and the darkness below. So it's sort of this oscillation, this movement, the flowing down, the moving up with the pentacles, and sort of this this charging of a single moment, right? The leading to a single moment, to an event. This is generally 
um, a card depicting shock, some, something surprising, right? I'm seeing it as sort of a standstill card, somewhat kind of like this, card of the justice. I'm seeing it as a sort of standstill, right? Suddenly all um, motions and efforts, okay, um, either from the past, right? Whatever was routine is now coming to a final point, a final close, right? This sort of lightning bolt is zinging straight to the center of all these wands that are forming to a single point. There is very much this focused, um, um, focused, um, stalling, stalling, right? Movement in a macro sense, movement of the progression of the general process, but micro stalling, right? The stalling that's needed, right? Some things need to end, especially with this death card, it's on looking, right? It's looking over at this process. Some things need to end, right? These efforts need to come to a close, right? In order for this new beginning to take place, okay? And you have this seven of pentacles leading straight up to the eight of wands. Wands being, um, again, fire energy, action, passion, creativity. So this, right, could very much be connected to um, whatever situation is coming to a close of, of efforts, right, that, ha that were in order, that used to be in order, that have been in order, that are now um, going to suddenly come to their stop and lead to the final closing of this situation that will lead to this rebirth of the situation, right? And the Seven of Pentacles is, is in a way, it's forming the foundation, right? It's necessary, this, this movement forward, right? Towards, it seems, towards this um, next step of bringing a close. And if you look at these two cards, the world, right? And you have the five of wands, sorry, the eight of wands. They're both circular, right? This is, there's a circularity here. And there are wands that are very um, um, strategically uh, having, having this, this world, this circle. And two, you have it here, but here it's more bleak in a way, right? It's almost as if it's, this is what it used to be, this is what it was with the color, right? With the happenings, with the, with the lushness, and then now an end is being brought to, the, this is now the past, these past efforts, right? We'll come to a close. So I do sense a progressional energy, right? in your movement forward, your movement forward to bring this sort of end about. But an expected one because you do have this sort of very systematic approach, right? The steps that are leading up to this final sort of standstill moment of closure. An ending, perhaps, with the death card. Okay. So thank you so much, Capricorn, for tuning in today. I hope that this reading um, was of help to you guys. And um, thank you so much for your comments last month, as well for those of you that tuned in for December 2016. Um, I read all the comments and... Um, they're, they're fascinating to, to read. So please do share your thoughts. Um, and I look forward to reading for you guys, hopefully um, later in this month,
for the mid-month of January. And with that, I hope that you guys have a wonderful start to the 2017 year, and I'll see you next time, Cap. Bye.